Hello and welcome back to Cooking in Kids. Today I have a special treat, and that's just for myself, but for you as well. For the longest time, I've been trying to make a lemon meringue pie. Not that I've actually made an attempt, but I wanted to. And the reason I didn't is because I didn't. I thought that I wouldn't know how. So today I have somebody very special here. It's my neighbor Joe Edmund, and he makes one amazing lemon meringue pie. So he's going to show me how to do it and teach you as well. Joe, where do we start? What do we do first? Well, we just start out basically with a pre-baked pie crust. You can either make your own or get a, something from the store. And this is something that you already pre-baked? I pre-baked this yesterday. Yes. Okay. In one of the future videos, we're going to show you how to make a perfect pie crust. Because this one looks so flaky and so nice that I, I don't think you need anything else but some powdered sugar on it. Okay, a lemon meringue pie is very, very, very simple. There's just some basic ingredients, primarily eggs, lemons, sugar, and cornstarch. All right, now let's put it all together and make your magic. All right, well, we're, we're adding two thirds of a cup of lemon juice and one third of a cup of water to the cornstarch and the sugar. Actually, we just have maybe a quarter of a teaspoon of salt or a good pinch. Okay, in addition to what's in the saucepan, we have to uh, uh, use a total of four eggs. Four egg whites will be used for the meringue. Three egg yolks will be used for the lemon custard. So we will separate those. Now. So we're using only three egg We're yolks. using three yolks. Yes. And we're using the fourth egg, egg white, white for the okay for the meringue. For the meringue. Very good. Okay, this seems quite simple up to this point. Okay, so Be what's next? Be before adding the egg yolks to the other ingredients, whip them up very well. All right. This is something really exciting about seeing me in the kitchen. <laughs> I love it. Absolutely love it. All right. Once the egg yolks are whipped up, take a cup and a half of water and bring it to a boil in the microwave. But I'll be adding the whipped egg with yolks along with the water that we brought to a boil. Okay, you want me to do that? Yes. Okay, very good. You can do that at the same time. Uh -huh. The hot water just accelerates the, the, cooking the cooking process. Very good. It's looking gorgeous already. Beautiful. It's very important as you're cooking the um, the custard, I guess you would call it, the lemon custard, lemon curd. It's very important to stir it as you're bringing it to a boil so that it doesn't burn or stick. Okay, so while this is cooking, I would very much appreciate if you can share a little bit about your life. What is it? But <laughs> Joe, I think very unique about Joe is that he is a giver. And I am very much appreciative of people as such. Joe invests a lot of his time in giving back into community. Would you care to shoot? With us, what do you, what do you do? Well, I was a dentist in my other life, but I'm retired and I, um, I live in Temecula. And I, I actually cook for the homeless three days a week. So cooking is your passion? Yeah, well, it's, I, it I don't know if it's my passion, it's, it's a hobby. Okay? Hobby, okay. Well, hobby that has turned out into an excellent, excellent skill. Joe has prepared some of the best pastries. So I'm looking forward to uh, this recipe and I'm sure you won't be disappointed. Okay, so to continue with the recipe, uh, Joe is getting some lemon zest. So how much lemon zest do you think we need? Oh, about a tablespoon of lemon zest. A tablespoon, zest. okay, that's quite a bit. Okay, now that custard almost is done, you're it's gonna add what? Just a little lemon zest, a tablespoon of lemon zest. Okay, very good. And how much longer do you need to cook it? It's actually cooked. I'm it's gonna cooked. just stir this in. This is not a necessary step, but since eggs coagulate sometime, I like to just take the, the mixture and run it through the strainer. Well, this is um, just one more uh, reason to call you perfectionist. Let's see? All right. We're about to make the meringue. So just to stabilize the meringue, we're going to take a mixture of one tablespoon of cornstarch and one tablespoon of sugar maybe just a third of a cup of water, and 
and we're going to just heat that on the stove. Okay, now that um, the custard is on a pie crust, I just turned the oven. We're getting ready to make a meringue. I think the pie will be done in about seven, five minutes. No, not minutes. One thing I learned today is that you should put the meringue on a hot custard. For some reason, Joe says it makes a big difference. So I will remember that little tip. And for whatever it's worth, I hope you too remember to put the meringue on a custard while it's still warm. Lada, you can start uh, whipping the egg whites. Okay, I got that. We're having fun. Okay, hold on, hold on. Now we, we want to make sure that everybody hears what we're doing here. So tell me, I'm whipping four egg whites. Okay. And, and we're just going to add a quarter of a teaspoon of cream of tartar okay, to help good. stabilize. Okay, we're going to add a half a cup of sugar, of okay. fine sugar, if you can have, if you can find it. Add, uh, in addition to the cream of tartar, we're going to add one half teaspoon of vanilla. And you're using real vanilla or is this an extract? The real stuff? This is the real stuff. The real stuff. Okay, we're now going to add the cornstarch and sugar mixture to stabilize. Okay, we're we're going to add it to the egg whites to help stabilize it. Okay, how much of it do we need? We're just going to add about a you know, half a teaspoon at a time. Okay. Okay. You go ahead. Think this is good? It's right. great. Looks um, great. All in your hands now. You can make it pretty, right? Now, normally when you put the meringue on, it's better to seal the edges first and then work to the center. If you work from the center, sometimes you can push some of the filling out of the shell. Okay, show us how you do it. Uh -huh, so you have a clean job, nice clean job, right? Okay. Let's show the camera from the other side, if you can do this one next to the, so we can see what you're doing here. I've learned a lot. This is, um, although this is very simple, I mean, the, one of the tips that I've learned is to use a thickening a paste for the meringue. And that's something I didn't know. Well, it just keeps it from weeping. Yeah, it, I mean, it makes perfect sense. Also, I didn't know that it, there's a significant difference if you put the meringue on a um, hot custard or cold makes a perfect sense. If it's still hot in the meat, it's just going to pick up and cook it faster, which is also probably safer too. But it's really for safety. It's for safety. primarily for safety. This has been fun. Okay, and Joe is trying something new today, huh Joe? We're just going to try to put a little lemon zest. A lot of people don't have zesters, okay? Right. I think that will look awesome. If the lemon burns a little bit, it will bring even more flavor. Plus it will look very good. All right. All right? Okay. Ladies, the ladies touch. That's right. Part. About 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Okay, let's go. Why is it? Now the question is, who's going to do dishes? I will do the dishes. You do the dishes? Yeah. I have a cup of coffee. I will do the dishes if you'll pour me a glass of wine. All right. <laughs> yeah, let's check our, check our pie. I'm anxious. Oh, oh my goodness. Good. That's I, a perfection. I think, perfection. I, it looks pretty good, but I think we'll keep it in maybe just oh, about five more minutes. All right. And then we will let it cool on the rack with the door open. Sounds good. How do you like the um, lemon zest at the top? It looks very good. Oh, turned out good, yeah. All right. Five minutes has passed. Let's take this baby out. It's looking really, really nice. It's simply beautiful. So Joe said to leave the pie inside the hot oven for another 10 minutes to slowly cool down. That's what we're going to do. Okay. Let's just leave the oven open. All right. I think uh, we're done. And I hope this recipe was not uh, complicated. And now the next thing is just to try and see that it tastes as good as it is. As you can tell, my little ones are waiting for us to cut the pie. And although dinner is cooking and it's not a time for dessert, I think we're gonna go ahead and cut it and have a little taste. So let's see how our pie turned out. Since we baked it, we let it sit for about an hour and a half. Actually, maybe a little longer than that to cool off and it's, it looks just really nice. Cutting it is holding its texture really well. And what do you think? I think that looks mm. crazy good. This is just beautiful. I think Joe deserves absolute 10 for this. Thank you for cooking with us. 
Uh, many more wonderful recipes are coming your way. I'm gonna include some of my other friends who are also wonderful cooks and share some of their recipes very soon. Until then, take good care of yourself and your family. Bye.